okay hi guys hello welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel welcome to the family if you are a returning subscriber welcome back okay so today i'm coming to you looking all homeless huh we're looking all homeless but it's wash day yeah what do you expect i'm not going to do my whole face just to wash my hair okay guys so yeah today i'm going to be showing you guys my updated routine of how i wash my natural hair my natural hair is type 4 4c even almost 4z like it's just that kinky hair i did another video where i washed my hair but since then i've updated a lot of things and also i'm going to be trying out new products i'm going to be using new products that i haven't been using apart from my coconut oil yeah so yeah let's get started let's see how we wash this hair Okay, so the first step I usually do is pre-poo. I usually use this coconut oil to pre-poo my hair by Alison. And nowadays, the other time I washed my hair, I used to pre-poo it like 30 minutes before I wash my hair. But I nowadays I pre-poo it overnight. So I already pre-pooed my hair overnight the previous night. I just put my coconut oil. I wear my plastic cup. Then I wear my bonnet and I sleep so just so that that moist I can just absorb all the nutrients and the goodness of preparing is it prevents you from harsh shampoos like nowadays I usually use sulfate shampoos I don't use sulfate free shampoos and sulfate shampoos usually strip all the moisture from your hair okay so we want to avoid that by using uh by pre-pooing our hair and i prefer using an oil to pre-poo and that is coconut oil so that's just what i do i put it at night then they're in twist i put them in twist like that and then i wear my plastic cup and i sleep overnight so the second step that you're going to be doing is i'm going to be shampooing my hair out why why <laughs> yeah so i'm going to be shampooing and this is the first new product i'm going to be trying i'm going to be trying this shampoo it's called alberto balsam tea tree shampoo yeah that's what i'm going to be using today and guys this is a sulfate shampoo it's it was like 200 bob and you know sulfate shampoos most of them are usually cheap and sulfate shampoos strip off the moisture so what I expect, I don't expect it to leave my hair moisturized. I just expect it to be, to strip it off, Kabisa. Because I've, I've been in a protective style for one month. And I have a lot of dirt accumulation, a lot of product accumulation. And I want it to be clean. So yeah, this is the shampoo I'm going to be using. And I'll tell you guys how it turns out. I don't know. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to concentrate it on my hair and my scalp really nicely and yeah guys let me go shampoo and i'll see you guys in a minute okay <laughs> okay guys so i've washed it and i'm just drying it with a kikoi like i don't dry my hair with the towel because the towel is so rough on the hair which can cause breakage which can cause hair loss and you don't retain your length and you're trying to retain our length here and also guys this shampoo this this is it okay it smells so good it's a sulfate shampoo but it didn't strip my moisture like it didn't strip my hair i just felt like my hair is still moisturized and it's soft like i usually when i use a sulfate shampoo my hair usually just feel like kr, kr, kr. but this one this is good it smells so good it's so it's so nice it soothes the skin so nicely like you know the way it smells like mint and though you know you usually take mint and your mouth feels like that's how your hair feels like okay so yeah so the next after washing my hair i usually deep condition it and i usually do a moisture treatment and sometimes in my last video i was using rice water so rice water is usually my protein treatment Just hold on. uh rice water i usually use rice water like a protein a protein conditioner i had pro i usually use rice water as a deep conditioner like a protein deep conditioner so today i'm not going to be using um rice water because i'm doing a protein treatment this one 
and this also is a new product i'm trying i used it last time i'm trying to do protein treatments once a month and it's been a month so i want to do this and then the next wash day after two days i'll do a moisture treatment and when you're using a protein treatment and you have low porosity hair like for me i have very low porosity hair if you have low porosity you want to stick to either the protein treatment or the rice wash okay you choose one struggle but if you're hyperosity, your hair needs that protein. So go ahead and use the rice water, use the protein treatment. But if you're low porosity like me, stick to one. Don't use rice water with protein treatment. Okay? So yeah, let's... I'm going to mix a little coconut oil inside here. And I also take this time to detangle my hair. I just take my time to detangle the hair. I used to detangle before I wash it. I used to detangle it when I pre-poo. And I have a very sensitive scalp. And my scalp could just be burning. So I noticed that when I pre-poo, when I detangle my hair with conditioner I need, it makes it so easy. And guys, can you see how my curls are popping? And I've just used that shampoo. Like, my curls are showing. And it's a sulfate shampoo. So yeah, let's pre let's do the conditioner. I just apply the conditioner all over my hair. And while it's saturated with the conditioner, I usually go in with this so when it's saturated with that conditioner I usually go in with this scratch to detangle my hair I used to use another brush but I find it the I find this very very convenient because it's you can use it to massage and I just start from down and I go up as I go up I hold my head here because my scalp is so sensitive so when i do this the pressure that i apply here comes here comes to this part it doesn't go to my scalp that prevents my hair from I, it prevents my scalp from feeling so painful after wash day so i just do that as i move down and guys i have a story about this thing so i went on jumia about this scratch i went on jumia i was searching for hair products and it just popped up and it was 165 and i was saying it can detangle your hair it can you can use it as a detangler you can use it as a massager and like i just thought it was so good and it was 165 pop so i thought eh, see, see this thing is cheap let me just get it so i bought it i added it to my cart and bought it and then the next time i was going to best lady to just buy my hair supplies i usually buy my hair from best lady most of the time so I went and bought my hair. Then I see this thing there. I check the price. I check the price, guys. And the pain that I felt. This thing was like 35 bob. 35 bob. And I bought it at 165. Like I could have bought five more with that 165. So and I just felt pain. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> so guys, before you buy anything online, just go check at your local store before you. And then you add plus delivery fee. Hmm? That comes like 200 bob. Eh, that's how I even stopped shopping online that much. I don't shop online so much. Before I buy something online, I just go and check at the local store or at the supermarket if the price is the same. And I just do the calculation. Like this one is 130. This is 35 bob at my best lady. And then you go and buy it at 165. Guy, any you people like exploiting others. So yeah, this is what I'll be doing. I just do that and then I put it into a twist. I just twist it, twist. And this is just basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be twisting my hair. And guys, shrinkage is real. Huh? Shrinkage is real. So, yeah. Then I go to my next one.
And once my hair is detangled, like the scratch is just passing like that. And guys, are you seeing like my curls are popping? My curls are popping. okay guys so i've applied the conditioner on my entire head so what i usually do now is i put on my plastic cup and you can sit like this for like an hour or 30 minutes but because i have a like at this one what is this Yeah, so I'm going to sit under this heating cup for 15 to 30 minutes depending on the amount of time I have. So yeah, let me go do that and then I'll rinse it out. After I've rinsed it out, I'll come and show you guys how I moisturize my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I've rinsed out the deep conditioner and this is how we are looking right now. So it's time for me to moisturize my hair and for moisturizing, like you guys, shrinkage is real. Shrinkage is so real. So yeah, so for moisturizing, I usually go, with, go in with a leave-in conditioner, then an oil, and then a cream. Okay, so I'm trying a new leave-in conditioner. I'm trying this. Yeah, this is mega, mega leave-in conditioner. I just bought a small, small package so that I can try it out. And if it works well for me, I'll buy the bigger one. So this one, Mona hooked me on it. There's a girl called Mona. We did a collab with her. I'll link her, I'll link her YouTube channel so that you can check her out. And the th the third thing I usually use, the third thing, the third thing I usually use is uh shea butter as my cream but i don't have a cream and there is this girl that i usually follow here on youtube i'll link her youtube channel because i've forgotten her name and she was saying about using grease on low porosity hair so i'm going to try using grease and i'm going to use black ma blue magic not black magic yeah i'm going to be using blue magic and she was using it at the end of her at the ends only you don't put it like here you put it on the hair you concentrate it on the ends like the ends kabisa so that's what i'm going to be doing and we'll see how it turns out okay okay so i'm starting off with my leave-in so far it feels good it doesn't it feels good So I'm going to apply it in generous amounts and then I just finger detangle a little bit. And so far it feels so moisturizing. So let's see if it can keep moisture in for a whole week. <laughs> Then I go in with my, then I apply coconut oil, like just a few drops. And then I take a bit of the blue magic 
you know in the natural hair community like grease is a no no it's a no no but I'm, i want to try it out just a little bit you don't want to apply a lot then i just concentrate it on the ends so that they don't tangle up they just concentrate it in the on the ends then i'm going to twist that section Starting off with my, I'm starting off with my living, and this living smells so good. If you're into scents and you love livings that smell so good, this is the living for you. Okay, it's not for you yet. It smells good, but you want to see how it will perform with my hair. I'm loperosity <laughs> oil. Ah, it's not dropping there yeah. <laughs> just a little you don't want to have like a lot of products if you're loperosity then I'm just going to add some more on the end and then I take blue magic so I take blue magic just a little and put it on the ends the reason why you don't put the grease like on the roots <laughs> it, it will cause product accumulation and you don't want that that can prevent your hair from growing or from retaining the length that it already has so and then i put that into the trees Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the hair and as you can see my hair looks so moisturized it looks so juicy so juicy so yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing yeah and that's that's my wash day basically that's my wash day and yeah hey guys so that's my wash day that's how I wash my hair I've tried three new products I'll tell you guys how they turn out for me. So usually, I usually put them in three strand twist or in two strand twist. But this time, I don't want them to be so stretched out. So I'll put them in big two strand twist because I'll unravel them soon. And I don't need them to be super stretched. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet and you love this kind of content, kindly subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload, you can get that notification. And also, if you enjoy such content, give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what part of this wash day do you think I should change or what part do you think you're going to at least implement in your wash day, okay? So without, not without further ado, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, bye, have a nice time.